Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Backstage Con 2024 Europe happening in Paris, France, out of all places. Woo, make some noise, hi, hello, yay. It's the third time that we gather around Backstage Con like this and it's the very first time we're doing this in Europe. So it's very, very special. And I know that many people in the room have been eagerly awaiting and working really hard to make this moment uh, happen. So I really hope that today is going to be valuable and, and memorable for all the participants who, who made it here. I'm really happy to see this many people here for it, both adopters, contributors, uh, users, and, and people just checking out backstage, really. And yeah, when I said it, it actually got me curious, like what's the, what's the makeup of this audience today? Shall we find out? Let's do a quick show of hands, right? Why not? Cool, um, so let's do it like this. Uh, please raise your hand if you're using backstage in your organization. Wow, nice, nice, amazing, thank you. Uh, let's do another one. Raise your hand if you're contributing to Backstage or maybe if you're project maintainer for part of this project or maybe you're part of special group of interest. Wow, quite a few, quite a few. Thank you so much for keeping uh, the project moving forward. It's, it's greatly because of you. And the last one, I promise. Please raise a hand if you're just exploring backstage or maybe running a proof of concept. Nice, welcome. Welcome to this, yeah, friendly and hopefully warm, warm community. Glad to have you here. Cool, so regardless of your background and, and regardless of your goal for today, I hope that the programming uh, will will give you something that sort of matches with your interest. Uh, we're gonna have a fair bit of uh, introductory talks as well as technical deep dives, as well as adoption stories and inspirational keynotes and, and lighting talks. Uh, so let's dive right in. Now when we know you're a bit better, maybe it's time to introduce ourselves as well, your host for today. Um, so hi everyone, my name is Helen. I work at Spotify where I lead an engineering team that works in backstage. And yeah, I came all the way to, from, uh, from Sweden to here. And I'm joined by Bulaji. Hi there, my name is... Uh, hi. Hey, my name is Balaji Siva, and I uh, lead the product management for the developer tools at Red Hat, and happy to contribute to work with uh, Spotify and the rest of the community to make this a great uh, event for all of you guys. Thank you. Awesome. And the, the third gentleman um, that you see on the slide is, is Bowie, the mascot of the project, Bowie the Beaver. And um, he isn't just a beaver. I feel like he embodies a lot of values and, and really the spirit of this community, the community of curious builders coming together to build something greater than the sum of its parts and to really just uh, contribute to the best developer experience in the world. So what brings us together today? Why backstage? Like what is it that retailers, streaming services, airlines, banks, governments, startups and enterprise companies all have in common? It's developers, right? Um, and developers dealing with complexities, like more complexities than ever before. And a lot of frustrations too that aren't just writing code really. And backstage attempts to solve all of that by providing an aggregated layer on top of all of your infrastructure and tooling, streamlining your workflows, um, unblocking the obstacles that you might encounter on the way, and providing you the more fulfilling work experience as well. Would you agree, Balaji? Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I think the increasing dollar productivity is a key objective for backstage. And if you look at this, the persona, the platform engineer persona, which is another persona I see a lot, where they're responsible for helping remove those uh, uh, barriers for the developers and have self-service for developers. They're essentially bringing the best practices and being able to program that through the backstage uh, uh, software templates, for example. One of the things that, for example, security, you know, shift left, we all talk about shift left as something that we should do, but it's hard to implement 
supplement. But if you think about it, you can, with the backstage uh, software catalog, you can actually shift down. The platform engineers can help them shift down the complexity for the developers and you help them get adopted. Right? That's a really good thing. And I think this is where we are. Like backstage brings all of us together. It, backstage brings, is a platform that brings all of us together. Speaking of together, I think you know, the whole community is helping contribute to this platform. So thank you very much. And uh, specifically for this day, I think I want to make sure that I, we, 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 thank, we say thanks to the sponsors. We have uh, multiple sponsors, uh, obviously the diamond sponsors, and also the, the, um, wanna, and the platinum sponsors and the gold sponsors. We also want to thank the CNCF uh, organizing committee, uh, the, the, the Linux Foundation team to help put the team together, and also the programming committee. There's a lot of effort put into it from a time and effort and money, I guess, in terms of bringing this event together. So I hope that it, you guys have a great day. So Helen, I'll let you take it to the next, next level. Totally. So what's, what's up? What's up backstage? What's buzzing? What's new since we last met? Let's do a quick recap, shall we? Quite a lot has happened, wouldn't you agree? I mean, for starters, Backstage celebrated its uh, fourth birthday. Happy birthday, Backstage. <laughs> so what happened on the 16th of March, four years ago, is a tiny little team at Spotify uh, pushing Backstage project into open source. And this team, since then, has grown to a large global community with more than 13,000 members contributing to it, like making the noise, making the buzz, supporting each other on Discord 24-7. So we've, we've come a long way. Um, and um, yeah, as like the adoption is growing, as the community is growing, it's really, really great to see like the distribution uh, like of, uh, yeah, I guess of, of, of this community geographically. Like, can you guess how many countries do we have now part of the community? Any wild guesses? Just shout, don't be shy. What's that? 92, 92. all right, any, any, any more for any more? Gentlemen in the back. <laughs> oh, come on, you know this stuff. So 52, 52 uh, countries are now part of the, of the community. We now effectively have all the continents uh, covered. So Antarctica, TBD, I guess. But effectively, like all the continents have contributors and, and adopters um, part of, of, of this community. Uh, like, how is the overall ecosystem doing, you would ask? Um, and uh, like, the backstage has been on the exponential growth ever since the beginning on multiple different dimensions. Um, and as you can see, like with the community growth, it's not only that, but also like the product is maturing itself. The product is growing itself. So we now have more than 150 plugins in the ecosystem, and we have uh, like 1,500 uh, serial contributors contributing features, requests, uh, back bashing, just making it better really for, for one another. Um, and in terms of the new releases this year, um, as we speak, fresh of the process, 124, it's going out the doors. Uh, I'm not gonna touch on like some of those feature releases in depth because um, there will be talk that covers it. If you want like in depth overview of 24, 2024 roadmap, go check uh, maintainer's talk tomorrow at 10 past noon with Patrick, Ban, and I guess maybe Fraben. Uh, but a couple of highlights on the things that we um, 
we really think are important improvements. Um, so one of the biggest milestones that gets shipped with 124 release is security by default. And what it means is that you don't have to uh, now protect your or like own, you're not obliged to protect your own backstage instance from unauthorized access. It's done for you, as well as a couple of other small improvements to user tokens and to the way we handle user accounts. Um, there are a couple of spaces to watch out as well. They're under active development, and like you will see a lot of activity around in the coming uh, year. And I know, Balaji, you've been close to some of them. So over to you now. Yeah, sounds good. So the, the couple of things was dynamic plugins. The ability to, to install uh, plugins runtime so that you don't have to rebuild backstage. That's one that's pr pretty exciting uh, update. The other ones are on notification plugins. So we have a new no notification backend system that allows you to notify the users in the backstage UI. Uh, that's, what's, that's what's working right now. And then in the future, we can also uh, send notification offline. Like you're not looking at the backstage screen. You can still get um, notifications from the plugins uh, through, through, the, uh, through the email, for example. And so these are all possible. What's, what's, what's ahead? I mean, there's a lot ahead. A lot of them depends on you. I think the community con coming together and uh, driving the direction of the, of the roadmap. I mean, uh, I, I, was, I was part of Red Hat. I joined about a year ago to this community. And I can tell you that Spotify and the rest of the community has been very welcoming in, in helping us contribute and new features and product roadmaps. And I think she took the. Next slide. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to talk about one thing. Uh, you have the clicker, sorry. I do want to talk about one thing, which is a community plugin. Hey, <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's okay. Which is. What happened? Uh, yeah, the, the one thing I want to really quickly touch upon is the centralized. Uh, Community plugin initiative you started, right? Today, if you look at it, everybody, all the plugin contributors or publishers are maintaining the plugins in different places. And uh, it's very difficult, they're actually going through their own process of publishing the plugins. For a community, it's very difficult to find where these plugins are, contribute to it, et cetera. So we, we are coming together to cr create a community plugin repository. It's still optional, you know, if you want to use it, it's great. So, what's the benefit of it? Obviously, everybody's able to find the plugins in one place and they can follow the standardized uh, publishing process. Process. And uh, the plugin uh, contributors are still able to maintain control or continue to maintain the plugin. So you don't want to, you'd have to wait for somebody else to approve. It's your own workspace, so you can still get updated. I think hopefully you get more contributions, pull requests from the overall community to help you get started. Um, and uh, we want you to get involved with the community. Obviously, special interest groups are the way to get involved in the community. Uh, special interest groups essentially is a bunch of people who are interested in a specific topic coming together and you know, working on it. These are the four uh, SIGs available, the adoption, primarily focusing on you know, all the way from discovery to POC to evaluation and, and installation. Catalog and scaffold or SCAG are essentially the places where you get the front end or back end plugin, the APIs for those uh, projects, and obviously the community SIG uh, we just talked about. Join the community, join the uh, discard channels. And we also have a little survey that you, if you don't mind uh, uh, filling it out, um, we have a bet going on in terms of how many surveys will be filled out. So this allows you to um, give us feedback, you know, give the community feedback. We'll share it back with the, the community on how are you experiencing backstage, what are the problem areas, you know, who's adopting, who's not adopting, what are the challenges. It's very important for us to, as a community to get feedback about the health of the project. So please do fill it out. Just uh, take a snapshot of it. And you know, here's a code of contact, standard code of contact. Take a look at it. You know, if you're, if you're familiar with it, obviously, just treat everybody with kindness yeah. and uh, respect. Yeah, I didn't mean to, to kick you, but I guess we need to breeze through the rest. We are, yeah, on a clock. Um, so yeah, there will be refreshments and meals, some table topics for networking. But with that, without further ado. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go backstage. Let's do it. And yeah, I'm really pleased and honored to welcome our first set of speakers on stage. Here we go.